Hey everyone, I just want to show you a little something I uh, got from Al AliExpress just recently. Um, it's a pretty impressive uh, battery pack. It's not your everyday battery pack. This one has some extra features which are pretty impressive. Uh, there was uh, one downside to it which I'll get to in a moment. Um, but for the moment I'll walk you through and uh, show you exactly what it is. Um, I'm quite impressed um, you can't come across these in stores because uh, this is very useful. It has um, fast charging capabilities for uh, peripheral devices but also itself can be fast charged as well. Um, so it covers all the uh, fast charging, well most of the fast charging protocols with Samsung or iPhone um, and it does say in the specifications if you need to know any more you can speak to the customer service. Uh, but yeah for the moment this uh, this is it. So it comes with eight uh, 21700 battery cells. It does have a different mod for the 18650. Um, however, I went with this one because this one will give me up to uh, 38,000 mAh, which is really fast. So let me just give you an idea over here. This is the AliExpress listing here. Um, we can see down here if we go for the 18650s, the maximum capacity is 20,800 and the 21,700 batteries have a total of 38,400 mAh. It has a iPhone charger, it has a regular USB charger for output charging, uh, both of these can do fast charging and then also we have this particular one which is the USB-C and this one will deliver up to 120 watts of power. This ship in particular doesn't come by default if you get it from the manufacturers. Uh, this is something you ask to be installed and they have an option of two of these. These are called two-way PDs, which is a two-way power delivery system, which I'll get a bit more into in a second. But they have two modules you can choose from, one which is 120 watts and one that is 60 watts output. So you could power some serious things with these. You could recharge your laptop with it. Um, as well as many, many, many different devices. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So with the two-way PD ship, that's this ship right here, it's the little purple one. Um, if you go without this uh, to be installed, you'll just get a blank area where it normally would be fitted. But um, this is the one. So this one is the 160 watt ship. Then like again that's that blue little ship you see just there it has a USB-C output uh, to, to deliver it um, this does give out 120 watts but it also does what they call the two-way power delivery and two-way power delivery means that it can power itself as well as charging other devices so this, the way in which it works is that the batteries are actually drained to charge a peripheral device whilst the batteries are being charged externally by the USB. So both systems deliver a fast charge. However, obviously, if you have only one USB input, it's only going to charge you know, at, at, as much as it can, and it's gonna take longer for it to charge two devices with just one uh, input. So it is gonna charge faster with just no external devices connecting, just the USB connector inserted. Um, so yeah, so let's go back to the specifications to show you what this thing can do. Um, so this is the listing, it has one of those lengthy AliExpress names, but basically it's called an IP5389 ship that it has inside. It comes as a uh, sort of a DIY kit if you uh, buy it as it is. I'll just mute that. Um, so here we've got uh, many different acrylic panels, uh, and these are very sturdy. Um, it's, it, it's really a thick quality, it's very hard, and uh, it's really impressive for what it is. It comes with these little corner pieces, uh, which you screw all of the panels together in. And here you can just see they're fitting in the eight, uh, 21700 battery cells. Uh, these batteries, uh, they have options here, you can see. Um, ones that do not come with the batteries and ones that do come with the batteries uh, because they do say even with the 38 uh, 
1400 mAh capacity um, it does have a give of about 1 to 300 mAh give or take um, so you might not get that entire amount of mAh that for me obviously uh, I'm totally happy with what I have but you, you do have the ability to fit your own uh, battery cells from a sort of a promised manufacturer if you wish because uh, you know you, you don't exactly know what company these cells are coming from uh, because this one uh, was fitted uh, from the factory so to speak um, so they, they pre-assembled it for me I had nothing to do um, but even given then if you do decide to buy it from Aliexpress uh, they from the DIY kit you don't have any soldering to do um, it's purely just a case of screwing together the corner pieces um, and it's really quite an easy assembly um, just slipping the batteries inside and screwing the corner pieces together uh, so that's all that there is to that you can see he's just putting it together uh, and that's basically all there is to see from that part let's scroll down let's have a look down here we can see um, there are some downsides so this is one of the things I wanted to talk about they refer to this resistor cell here uh, and mentioned that uh, if you want to change uh, different MAH uh, you see here um, you will need to change this resistor but only for the display so if you want to have a high capacity um, cell and for it to also tell you an accurate output of how much uh, charge there actually is you will need to change that R6 uh, resistor so right now it's saying to me it's R it's 82% uh, um, but I'm not confident I'm sure if that is actually the amount because uh, that looks like the default resistor uh, R6 that uh, is inside so that might be a false reading um, however you know, for the price is you, it's a really good product you know it can't go wrong um, so yeah we'll have a look at what else we have one thing that you know dimension is you know, don't re reverse your batteries you will destroy it um, I did try to also charge my uh, MacBook Pro um, from this and I did hear some loud screeching um, I, it wasn't that bad but I just unplugged it instantly because I was just curious whether it was actually powering it and it might not be a problem with this battery cell because it might be that this is just asking for a lot more power uh, than, than can be delivered so it was something I should have checked before I plugged in um, without just running ahead and plugging things in and hoping that they would uh, they would work so we'll go back here and we'll just have a little look through the rest uh, that's obviously what you would see if you didn't uh, buy the additional ship uh, to be fitted you would just have a blank space uh, and you would just use the only other two ports on the board which are these two ports your iPhone and your standard USB uh, yeah that's both modules you have so you have your 60 watt uh, and you like you say like it says here bio-directional PD uh, fast charging module um, so that will allow you 60 watts output uh, and then you have one here which is your 120 watt uh, output uh, whilst also doing two-way PD allowing the battery to charge as well as allowing a uh, peripheral to charge at the same time so that's basically all that there really is to it there's not much else to show you uh, it's a very slick design it's very shiny the acrylic really shows nicely I'm surprised that but, you know like I say I'm surprised you don't see these things in a store um, because being able to buy a battery pack that can fast charge other peripheral devices it's not something uh, you see often and um, it's a really de desirable feature it's a really valuable thing uh, it's quite a heavy thing it's not lightweight it mentions here for the 21700 it will weigh 345 grams so it's not a lightweight thing but something like this it's very serious it's very, like it's very heavy duty with a serious output of 120 watts this would be for powering something heavy duty but or, or, or it could also just be a very large backup 
battery power bank that can also fast charge your devices. I mean, you could probably power a drill off this if you if you really wanted to. Not that it would be advisable. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's basically it from the description. I'll go ahead and um, there's only one review. I do intend to put my one on here. Uh, I'll go ahead and just show you the actual board itself. It's exactly as you see in the image. Um, really crisp, really nice design on the circuitry board. Uh, it, it's very shiny, it's very clean. Um, it has the uh, LCD, uh, what do you call it, the LED 8-segment uh, sig display uh, for telling you the amount of the battery. Um, uh, that's really all that there is to it. You have your two power ports here, your iPhone, your standard USB output, and then your 120 watt output. And then here you have two ports for input charge. You have a standard USB and you have a USB-C. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll plug this in and I'll show you it fast charging. It's uh, really quite rewarding. Let's go ahead, we'll get our USB cable here. And we're going to need a USB to USB, so we'll go for this little adapter. <clears throat> Let's get a good view of this, get this nice picture. So I'm going to go ahead and place this into the... I'm going to go ahead and put it into the 120 watt output. <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and plug that into my phone. I'm going to send you a, a screenshot of uh, this because the camera is not a very good camera um, so it has plugged in and we are charging so we have a fast charge and again I'll just take that out and I'm going to use this end the standard USB and just show again so all of these ports <coughs> will deliver your fast charging and there is a fast charge from here. Again, I'll, I'll send you the screenshot. Let me take a screenshot right now. Just because of the quality of that camera, it's not very good for close up images. Okay, so yeah, you can't really see, but it does say fast charging there. Anyway, that's it, basically. Um, it's very impressive. It took me about a good, I'd say three weeks to come in the post which isn't too bad for AliExpress. Uh, I have had products for two weeks, arrive in two weeks rather than sort of a month. But yeah, it's really ideal. Um, yeah, quite heavy. Um, it's quite um, slightly sharp on the edges, uh, but not enough to sort of hurt you. It's just a slight, slight amount. Uh, and then also I think uh, something as, uh, as crisp and glossy as this, it's going to be smudged very easily, so I'm constantly wiping it to make sure I keep it nice and shiny. And uh, I think I might need to have a kind of silk bag or something to uh, keep this inside of, uh, just to keep it safe. You have to be very careful with these lithium-ion batteries, um, especially with this kind of capacity. This would cause quite a big fire, especially if you're buying something from China and you don't know where it came from. Um, and yeah. Uh, the price itself is pretty decent too. I'll just give you a quick glance at that. Uh, so we'll go ahead to the top. Um, so for me, I went for da -da 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 -da. this one right here. So I spent £62 for this piece. However, if you want the two-way PD, you're going to want to go ahead to buy this element as well. And again, they have both products. So they have the 60 watt and they have the 120 watt. There's the 60 watt module. You can actually use these as standalone uh, BMSs uh, as a battery management system without buying the rest of it, which yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and they, again, obviously that's gonna cost you uh, maybe a further 18 pounds uh, for the 120 watt we have, 21 pounds. Um, for me, I'm really happy with the product I've received for the quality it is. Uh, I just hope over testing over time, it really pays out. So that's everything there. Um, I did have to contact them directly um, to request for this uh, part to be fitted. Um, they don't like to, I mean, I 
messaged them to me mention that uh, I wanted to fit it myself, but they insisted they wanted to assemble themselves. So I, I went ahead with that, and it's probably good advice that I did. Um, so yeah. Peace, guys.